Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. In my bench I have this Ampex. It's a portable AM FM cassette player. It is Chinese of course. The model number is AX309RC. New 800 watt. Bumble or Bumble. Hmm. AM FM TV radio. <laughs> they crack me up the Chinese when they market their product. If we take a look at the back, Ampex Radio Cassette Recorder Player. TV 3, uh, three to 5 channels. Hmm. So it's a handy little unit. It's big, it's not compact, but it is Nonetheless, it is portable. It works on three batteries inside of this compartment over here. It uses a big uh, type batteries and it runs on 4.5 volts. It uses a UM-1. You have to multiply by three. So, the complaint was the cat the customer who bring this and it is a Chinese unit by the way it, he said that the gasset stopped working and he got he get some scratchy uh, volume when he tried to use it so I'm going to connect the AC cord that came with it and see what happens and this is the AC cord that came with it as you can see he tried to tape it and he used an electric uh, tape because these kind of Chinese outlet plugs they are so cheesy that if you bend it it will break so that's his problem, it's not mine, yeah. Okay, now let's power it on. Oh, not, that's not a good sign. But at least we are getting a volume. And by the way, the volume is in here. So. But we have... C we have activity on the radio. Yeah. So. So, the radio is working fine. Let's try the AM. So the radio is working fine. Let's try the cassette tape. And these kind of cassette tape uh, or ca uh, tape deck or tape unit they use a special kind of mechanic it's all plasticky it's like all of the Chinese uh, mechanics but there are two types in China there is the common type that it was produced in the uh, I believe by and developed by Japan for low-cost instrument that it uses a push button from the top or from the bottom you can control it and in the in that kind of tape deck uh, or tape mechanic you get the uh, record play uh, record play 
uh, back and forward, uh, stop and eject in the same time and in the same button, and also in a pause. But in this type, it's really you can find the same type of arrangement on all of these types. So in Walkman you will find three buttons sometimes but this has got a few full features in Walkman you get three buttons stop forward and play that's all you can get but this is different so but I believe it have the same construction let's try to open it Oh, you will have to open in here, so, yeah. This is one of the uh, self or uh, hand uh, tape uh, eject deal, so, yeah. Let's try. Don't know why he said it is... The rollers, it's rolling. It's, let me touch the punch wheel. The pinch wheel, it is, it is ro rotating normally. Let me get a cassette or a tape, cassette tape, and see how it plays. I don't know if I'm going to get a copyright for this. This is, this is Lionel Richie Love Songs. Whatever. It's holiday season, so I wish from all my heart love for uh, any everyone. Okay, so. Oh my god, this is terrible. Let me boost up the volume a little bit. Oh my god, it's terrible. The problem it's not in the mechanic the problem it is in the electricity of the mechanic so there is two two pro potential causes for this malfunction the first one the, uh, the switch that uh, engage the power when you hit uh, a play and this function switch over here so Let's crack uh, this unit open and see what's inside. And in order to open this unit up, you will you have to remove five screws. Two on a on a, the upper corners, one in here, and two on the battery compartment. And here is the inside of this unit. As you can see, it's a lot more nicer than other uh, Chinese product or Chinese units we have here probably I don't know exactly but it's really not the best kind of construction but it is okay construction As we can see in here, we have the uh, tape or the motor speed regulator circuit. Here's the wire for the motor. And this type of motor, you can find it in all of the uh, cheap Chinese or uh, in Walkman devices because they are small and they work from uh, 2.5 volts to 3 volts. 
so this unit it is compact it's like a big uh, a bigger construction than the normal uh, Walkman here's the volume part as you can see and this is the whole construction so what I have to do I have to remove the screws that hold this unit in in place or this board in place this is one and this is two and probably there there is other but I believe these are the the only two uh, screws that hold this board in place and I will have to remove the switch and clean the uh, the uh, the uh, the main operator uh, uh, switch that it is built in and it is installed in the mechanic so yeah so let me remove oh we have oh no this is for the uh, tuner so these two are for the tuner so I will have to remove these two and see what happens. And this is the entire assembly has been taken out. As we can see in here, we have this switch and a lot of dirt on it. And in order to remove this board from the whole assembly or disassemble it, you will have to remove this screw over here and this screw over here. So this screw has been taken out, these screws, and as we can see, yeah, and this is the main switch for the mechanic that it is on. You'll have, I will have to clean it, and I will have to disassemble this switch over here, function switch. This is going not to be an easy process and because I hate them when they bend the the leads or the uh, pins like this because they are much harder to bend back, pin them or straighten them out. So, but nice construction in the way they built the uh, controller for uh, or the handle controller for the variable capacitor these machines they are not digital so yeah but nice construction it's really nice actually yeah so I'm going to do this and we will proceed from there and here is the switch has been taken out the function switch and if I zoom in a little bit, you will see some oxidation on the contacts, as you can see. These kind of switches are very, very cheesy, so this kind of oxidation, it is common. Because the materials that they use to make these, it's very, very low standards, so... I'll have to clean all the, these contacts and assemble it. And this is one of the major downside of bending the leads of a switch like this. It is common to, if you bend them back, you will break it. I did my best, but in order so I can preserve the uh, the pen, half of the of this these one of the pads is gone, and the other half it's missing uh, one side of the of this pad. So, yeah, but it's not going to be a big deal, and it is should be working fine. But I'm not going to bend it. I'm going to have to make a noose out of this, around this pad, and resolder it again. And it should be working fine. The other thing I have to remove 
this uh, record play switch after seeing the uh, the inside of this uh, switch I believe it is also dirty so I will have to disassemble it also and this is the uh, main power switch when you uh, hit play or forward or rewind I already take it out and clean it as you can see it is shining really good so this is gone this is okay and ready to be installed so I will have now to clean this reassemble it and then disassemble this guy over here so yeah I'm going to do this and let's see how it goes and hit this is the record play switch as you can see it's very very small and in order so you can disassemble it you will have to desolder all of these pins and this pin is for the uh, neg uh, positive audio head blendy wire and this is a shielded wire and this is this pin over here it's for the ground or the shield of the audio head so and this is the function switch has been all back together and I tested the continuity in all of the pins and all of the positions and it is working like a charm so I'm going to disassemble this and and see what happens oh wow so here's the culprit in here I don't know if you can see it if this damn camera would just focus a little bit oh yeah all dirty and this is the culprit the main culprit yeah and as you can see the contacts or the switch contacts they are very very small actually very very small so yeah I'm going to clean this reassemble it and solder it in place and see what happens so all back together as we can see and I solder all the connections and all the pins in the correct way and I heat shrink this wire over here because from the factory they did the one who assembled this device he did not do a very good job actually uh, and he melted the isolation on it so I put some heat shrink around it and let's connect some power and see how it plays and this is the cassette door open here's the cassette volume And the tape is working. The, here is the forward. Rewind. Let me push rewind. There we go. Forward. Play. And 
and it is working so let me try the FM The radio is working fine and the gas deck is uh, working fine. So let me zoom out a little bit. Maybe I did it. Yeah. So this uh, unit is ready to go. So all what I have to do now assemble it and I'm done. Thank you for watching, see you next time.